Priority waiver number three, wide receiver Romeo Dubs. And Dubs was a fourth round pick this year in Green Bay. I've started to change my tune a little bit on Romeo Dubs. I've already been out on Alan Lazard. You can go back. I've been on record saying Alan Lazard is not the answer here. But maybe, maybe, maybe it's Romeo Dubs. Through three games, he has 16 targets, 14 receptions, 10 yards a target. He's caught a touchdown already. He was the wide receiver nine in week three against Jamel Dean. This was a breakout game. Eight catches, eight targets, two targets in the red zone. One of them converted for a touchdown. 73 receiving yards. That's what you want from a leading receiver. Now, this is probably a ceiling game coming off of Tampa Bay. So this is why he's waiver priority number three. There is risk that the Green Bay Packers will continue to spread the ball around. But Romeo Dubs is built like a dude. 6'2", 204. He had mid-range metrics. 50th percentile, 40-yard dash, 60th percentile speed score. Yards per reception in college, 15.6. So he can get down the field. And he commanded a 25% target share in college. So this is a player who can make it happen, but he's a rookie on Aaron Rodgers offense that likes to spread the ball around. Aaron Jones and AJ Dillon didn't get going in week three against Tampa Bay. Instead, it was Aaron Rodgers targeting Alan Lazard and Romeo Dubs making the offense click. So moving forward, you do want Romeo Dubs as a bench player on in most leagues. You want to add him off of waivers just in case that ascension continues. I don't think he's flex worthy at this point in most leagues. However, you don't want your your league mates to have him if he breaks out. This is if we get two weeks in a row from Romeo Dubs, you don't want to be the last one standing. So this is a preemptive move to make sure that you're getting a possible lead receiver for the Green Bay Packers.